Okay, here we are. Take two. But it was a little bit longer than the click of the camera. I painted the whole bottom of the car and we had a reaction with either sand particles from prior sandblastings and we had it all into the paint fine dust. Even though this isn't going to be seen and the dynamite is going to be over it for the sound deadener my OCDs were kicking in and I couldn't handle it. I stripped it all down, sanded it again, two coats of sandable primer, and now I put the pores on again. And I'm getting ready to paint the bottom. Here's the back side where I've re-sanded. Turn, turn the light on it here. I don't know if you can see it, the trunk hasn't been painted. I've sanded the old stuff right down again and I'm putting a whole second coat on it. So the trunk hasn't been painted. It was re-sanded again because the dust or the sand particles. This isn't going to be seen either. There's going to be a carpet over this, but like I said, it was bothering me. I've got it all nice and looking. You don't get the benefit of like a finish of a car of wet sanding or buffing it. It's got to come out perfect. Otherwise, you're no, no good. They never did this from the factory. It's all painted underneath the dash. Let me walk around to the other side show you what I've done here. I'm going to paint this tomorrow. Alright, I've got... Alright, this isn't going on. I've gone down here and spot puttied some of the marks that are going to not make it look so nice. If I painted it, these are... I don't know if you'd call it a little bit of pitting from the over the years. I've got it all spot puttied. You're gonna spray it over primer. I've got this all done. All the little repairs from going over the lifts and the nicks. I've taken care of some of the dents, done actually body work down here. Put body filler on some of the shallow dents and some little dings made it look that much nicer when it's all painted. Satin, flat, black. That's hopefully this weekend before the weather changes. I'm getting ready to put the frame back on the car now. I'm going to cut the rear quarter panels off and put the new ones on. So, hopefully tomorrow this will be all painted. I have it done, but if I wouldn't have been I'll bet I'm getting it all done nice. If I figured if I can't get the inside done nice, I'm going to have a harder time doing the bottom. Dealing with sandblasting is really nice getting the metal clean, but it's amazing how it finds itself into all different nooks and crannies, blowing it out for hours and hours. That's why they use the soda blasting with the water, but it looks pretty good, so this video will be the only documentation of how it's going to look. It's going to be all covered up with insulation and sound deadener. The doors aren't being done yet because those aren't the doors we're going to use. There's the back seat, and there's the other side. So. There's four minutes of me walking around with the camera driving you crazy. I'll update later.